Hello everyone, this is Jason and I will show you the external shell configuration on CP server side. I will introduce the high level configuration steps, also go through the step by step configuration. For high level steps, I summarize with following three steps. First of all, you need to configure your web application server for external shell. Then configure external user RDAP room in PIT. Finally, complete the configuration on domain and the object store, which you want to enable the share. Now let's go to the step-by-step -step configuration. The first thing you need to complete is changing the VAST RDAP settings to federated repositories. Then add another RDAP room to identify the external users. After federated repository are configured successfully, you need to log into ACE with the PIT admin user. Then add the external user directory server under directory configuration. After it's done, please ensure to set the principal category property to external and exclude from authenticated user's property to true. You also need to configure an SMTP server on your domain configuration. After the above done, domain level configuration is completed. Then we can go to the object style level to configure. The first action is install add-ons for the share object style. You need to install the following add-ons. Call collaboration extensions add-on. Collaboration sharing extensions add-on and the IBM Content Navigator Share Extensions add-on. Once the add-ons are installed, you need to grant the group of external users create instance permission on the document class and the subclasses that are used by entry templates in your shared enabled object store. In this screenshot, you can see we grant view all properties and create instance permission for external group RAM users. With above configuration, the external users gain permission to create a document in a folder where they have access. We also need to complete the same configuration on folder classes, which results the external user gets permission to create a folder in a folder where they have access. Besides, we also need to set security on the document share and the folder share classes to control who can share instance by selectively granting the share permission. For example, you might want to leave the share permission off large groups like authenticated users and instead allow only supervisors to see the contents of the shared records. In this example, you need to remove the authenticated users group in the following classes, the default instant security page. After the above step done, the external shared configuration for CP is complete. Thank you for watching this is Michael TV.